All right, great to be joined by Tim Stutzlove, the Ottawa Senators here on the Rain Dregs Hockey Podcast. And uh, Tim, uh, we'll get to all the fun stuff here momentarily. And uh, just fair warning, we've got some good fodder on you that dates back and current days a star in the NHL. But talk about all this season has gone for you. Of late, you've got, what, 10 points in your last five, including four points against uh, Montreal, four points in, against Calgary. Early January, you had four points against Seattle. So is it just one of those things where if you feel the juices flowing and and you get off to a quick start, that a game can turn into a multiple point game like that? Uh, yeah, uh, definitely. I think so. First of all, thanks for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> and um, yeah, no, it's it's been awesome. I mean, I the year's been great. Um, I just try to get better every day. We have uh, so many good guys in the in the group there. And we just have fun playing hockey and coming to work every day. And so it makes it easy for me. I play with great players. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been really nice. And, um, yeah, for me, it's just uh, one of those nights you feel really good. And then um, it just goes your way. The puck comes to you every time. And you just uh, try to read, read as well as you can. But, um, yeah, talk about Calgary. I think I have one of my worst games ever. And then you go <laughs> with four points and uh, get the win there. But, <laughs> no, it's just sometimes how it goes. And you, you just try to stay with it all the time. Isn't it funny? Like you have one of those nights and everybody says to you after, oh, great game. And inside you go, yeah, it wasn't that good. I just the puck came to me tonight. It's the worst. That's the worst to be honest. Like some guys are just, I don't know, like guys who, who don't really understand hockey, you just see all over the media, what a game by him. And then you just know like, oh my God, I was so bad. And then <laughs> like guys came after me after the game and they're like, you had four points tonight. I'm like, yeah, I was so bad. And I looked at five giveaways. Like, I felt I played awful, but um, in the end, um, we just stuck with it and got the win. So that was awesome. When when I started, Tim, I was with a team that was really young, just like you guys are. And it felt to me like, as I look back, how helpful it was that everybody was kind of in the same stage of life. You're all young. Most of you aren't married. Most of you don't have kids. It's just hockey and hanging out with the guys. Is that a little bit what it feels like for you? Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, I mean, we have so many young guys, but then we also have some veteran guys who's been around for a longer time. And that I think that's really, really good. Like some guys, some guys have kids like I love sometimes playing with the kids down there after the game when we when we get a win and, the, and all the kids come down. It's uh, always fun. And um, in the end, no, it's it's great to have some young guys around who. Yeah, who who maybe you can go out for dinner with. And then if you have like an older team, I think most guys stay at home with the wives and the kids, which is which is awesome too. But uh, in the end, it's always fun having a couple of younger guys you can go out for dinner with. Uh, right before you came uh, in your draft year, you came to the NHL, um, you're playing in Germany, playing back home, and Ben Smith was one of your teammates. And so like an older guy to younger guy, I read a lot of stuff and my son played against you and uh, in the league. And he's like, man, it's the first time I played against a guy in a cage that was that good. He <laughs> said, like, you look so young, but did, what did Ben Smith help you with? Oh, uh, he's the best. I mean, um, he's always been there for me. Uh, when I had some bad games, he always came to me. He's like, don't worry about it. You're a great player. Just keep playing your game. And I think when you're young, you always get, get really down on yourself when you have a bad game and you always want to be the best but you don't really understand that in hockey when you play so many games you you don't feel great every night and you don't have it every night and I think that's that's what he tried to teach me and um, he's been around for so long uh, he won a lot of things and he's just been a great leader I mean the, the way he works off the ice at this age still and um, yeah it's just it was just a pleasure to watch him play and I still try to watch as many GL games as I can and um, just uh, watch my buddies back there play. I think everybody on the team helped me a lot getting to the point where I am right now. Do you miss um, like the atmosphere in those games? Like compared oh, like boy. here, everybody comes in North America, they just watch the game. And over there, it's the chanting, the visiting team, you know, has their supporters section. Like, do you miss some of that? Oh yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, I, I, I will never say the fans here are not as loud, but, um, it's just different. Like it's like fans are just like yelling and singing all a game in Germany. And it's just a, a little bit different, but I think it's getting like louder here when we score mm. and like when there's a big chance and when like when the game we played in Calgary, like a lot of people laugh uh, at uh, against Calgary at home, a lot of people left, but it was still so loud when we tied mm. it up. So it just, uh, it's just a little bit different. I think the, 
the way people watch the game is just different than in Germany. But um, I I just think the the country uh, Canada, the way they treat hockey and the way they love watching hockey is just uh, it's just been awesome. No kidding. All right, Tim Stutz, our guest on the Rain Regs podcast. A couple of insider related questions, quick ones from from me here, Tim. Number one, uh, I've been asked to ask you to talk about your pickleball ranking. What's behind uh, that? I think I'm uh, so the ranking right now. I'm uh, number one. Wow! And I, oh, really? I'm really, I'm really convinced and uh, be number one in pickleball on the team. Um, <laughs> but and then the the number two is G. I think it's always a tight game with with Duru. Uh, he's really competitive too. Can't really lose. <laughs> and then I would say there's a huge gap, and then the next guys come <laughs> right in there. So uh, it's always up and down there from the guys. But I think one and two is a a, a lock there. And do you up. have a do you have a championship trophy? Like, is there a belt or something? <laughs> No, we don't, but uh, we, we sometimes are, like, right now, uh, we're getting back to playing almost every day. We have, like, a, a nice little court at the rink there. Like, it's not, like, really, like, pickable, like, actually pickable. It's, like, a little bit longer, and we play, like, 2v2 nice. and 1v1, and then we have, like, a ranking, like, written on the board. He's, who's, like, number one player. We got the most wins. It's, uh, it's no, it's pretty funny, but it's, like, more up and down, but the one and two is always a lock. Okay, so the follow up to that then is I've told I'm told that you also have legendary sleep habits. What does that mean exactly? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if it's legendary, but I just uh, I like sleeping. I guess yeah, I'm. Uh, I How like long's a nap? I, How long's sorry? a nap? How long's a game nap? It depends. So when like when I feel pretty good, I go like ninety like ninety minutes, and then um, if I'm like tired, I go like two hours. Yeah, that's a good afternoon, I, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's pretty good. <laughs> but sometimes I wake up and I'm like, oh oh boy, I'm tired today. <laughs> and then it's like when you sleep a little bit too long, it's not good either. So I just no. try to. When I was younger, I always nap like three hours, like as long as I could. But no, it's, <laughs> yeah, I was too tired. <laughs> How about when you wake up from that nap and your legs feel like cement and you're going to the rink and all you can think of is come on legs, wake oh. up just a little bit, just a little, eh? <laughs> Sometimes you just feel it when you wake up and you're like, you want to move in the bed and you're like, oh, the legs are tight today. And then you're like, okay, I got to get moving a little bit. And then you try to go for a walk or something, get some fresh air and then uh, trying to move when you take a shower and like get the legs ready. But uh, sometimes it's just hard. Hey, when you're back home uh, and you're just a little kid and you're playing, when did you know, I want to be an NHL player? Like, that's the German, you know, to play at the national level in Germany is one thing, but I, I want to play against the, the best league. When when did you know that? Yeah, I think you you always, like, I when I was young, I always wanted to watch NHL and, like, I, I always wanted to be at that point. Um, but in the end, I think you really, re I really realized that I have a chance was when I uh, went to Mannheim uh, when I was like 15 years old and um, the national team stuff started and you played against like Finland, Sweden, like uh, mm -hmm. some Canadian teams. And you kind of realize when you look at guys who like uh, guys who are already in the rankings for the NHL and like, you know, how it is in Canada, how it's getting like hyped up and everything. And. I was just uh, like 15 years old. I was like, uh, I didn't really knew anything was going on. And um, I just wanted to try my best and work every day. And um, I think it worked out pretty, pretty good with uh, what I did. And um, that I stayed in Mannheim playing pro hockey there. I think that was the right decision. And um, yeah, when I, when I started that year, that was my goal to get drafted as high as possible. Um, who was your, uh, who was your favorite uh, player? Who was the, who was the guy you wanted to be? Uh, I think there are a lot of guys. I mean, um, for me, it was always Crosby, um, uh, mm -hmm. the, the things he won and, um, the way he played, but, um, definitely a guy I, I love watching. It's been a lot of fun. Um, he won, he won a lot too, is Patrick Kane. I mean, um, mm -hmm. he's just, uh, so much fun to watch and, um, yeah, the, the recent years he's playing great hockey and it's just, uh, he has so much skill, so it just looks easy what he does. Um, but, um, yeah, right now, um, Every time I get home, I watch hockey, and um, the the team I put on the most is uh, Edmonton mm -hmm. uh, because of McDavid. I mean, it's just uh, and Leon. It's um, just yeah, so much fun to watch him play. Now, I I play a lot of golf. I know you play some, and you're 
your game is getting there. Now in Canada, there's a great group of young players that are on tour now. And Canada has not been known as a big golf nation, but they're all kind of coming at the same time. It's the same thing in Germany. Like there's dry Seidel, there's yourself. There's uh, of course, Mo Sider and in Detroit and Paterka, your, your buddy from the uh, world. <clears throat> are you guys proud of that? Like this mm -hmm. is kind of like a really cool age for German hockey. Yeah. It's uh, I mean, like proud i think can always be better and when you look at all the other countries like if you see you look at canada like they're still they're still really really far away from them and if you if you see if you play them at the world championships it's like really hard to compete against them but um in the end i think that the guys we have right now i think we can be really proud of and um, they're not many many hockey players but i hope it's getting more and more and i think um yeah all the guys i mean uh leon obviously like he's such a great player and has been around for a long time. And then you have Mo, who is playing his second year, uh, playing great hockey, um, one rookie of the year last year. So, and then you have Reichel, Paterka, you have the goalies, um, and Ruba and Grice. Just, yeah, it's just uh, fun to watch. And um, I tried to watch as many games as I can from the German guys. Now, I did hear uh, about your golf game that, uh -oh. that you, you do have, you've maybe the worst bunker player of all time like how how hard can it be to get the ball out of the sand are you is that a real weakness for you <laughs> yeah the chances are not really high when i'm in the bunker but the thing is i'm not in the bunker a lot so that's, oh, that's good. good oh that's a good thing but um yeah i think as soon as it gets competitive uh i think i'm playing better right. but i'm just like playing like when we play for money i think i'm 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 a better player but when i just play and try to get better i think i'm sometimes not as good as i would like to be what uh, do you have a handicap uh, it's like around a 15 to 20 yeah uh, i would say so, so i just started yeah, like when you, honest? Home, when you go back in the summer can uh like back home uh can you play a lot is there a lot of places to play yeah i have uh, i have actually a membership like i try mm. to get out there as much as i can but Sometimes all my buddies are like working or they have some family too, so they can't really go out golf. So sometimes I just, after my workout is done and um, I have some time, I just go out, uh, hit a couple balls and um, yeah, but, but it's always way more fun when you play with buddies. Hey, Tim, we've got a couple of fan questions uh, if you're into it. This one is from at Sens Bay. What is your favorite thing about the city of Ottawa? And trust me, um this lady is a big fan of tim stutzler so what's your favorite part of ottawa uh i would say the people uh that's why yeah i think um the people are just so nice and super kind like everywhere you go it's just uh, they're so welcoming and they, they always want to help and um yeah especially when you go like grocery shop shopping or to the mall they're always so welcoming you and um <laughs> sometimes in germany it's not like that they they don't really want to work and uh <laughs> I don't really like working, but it's no, it's just uh, I think it's been awesome to watch that all the people here are super nice and um yeah, so welcoming to people uh from maybe not from here or um yeah, people from Canada too. All right, here's another one from uh at I love Burroughs, Cindy Campbell, and this is timely. Your favorite Ryan Reynolds movie. Uh I would go with that pool. I think it's yeah. uh, the the movie is hilarious. Like it's just uh, really funny, and um, yeah, I I watched I watched actually a couple movies, but uh, I think this one was pretty good. Is it pretty cool to hear his name linked around your team? Yeah, it's uh, it's great. I mean, um, I think we don't really like know what's going on, or mm -hmm. we don't really know what's happening. But in the end, uh, it's always good to have uh, a guy like him who's been who's been actually to a couple of games and I think it got really loud when he was there too so uh, the fans loved it and um, now it's it's been awesome and um, yeah hopefully uh, something happens there or we'll see what's going to happen but in the end that would be uh, definitely cool to see. Now um, you know he's got of course the soccer team in Wrexham that's got the documentary and you must be you must be a soccer guy right you 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 have to be. A little bit, yeah. I mean, I, I think Bundesliga or Prem? Bundesliga. Boring. Who do you like? Yeah. Uh, Bundesliga, I like Dortmund. Oh, yeah. Uh, Holland. Yeah. 
He's a yeah, beast. Yeah, Holland. He's been he's there. A, he's been he's, there. He's he was great. a beast there. He's just oh. a monster. Yeah, he's in Man City you now. He's doing great there too. But I like they have a young team, kind of like us. You know, it's kind of like us. They have like a really young team, and they uh, just kind of building. And um, now it's they are fun to watch. Definitely. Uh, were you a, okay, Messi or Ronaldo? I would think the way you play, you would be Messi. But is that right? Yeah, Messi. But like, it's, it's I don't think it's close <laughs> to be honest. I don't. Think I, it's I'm close. with you. I, I I'm with you. My kids think I'm crazy, but I Messi no. for me. Oh, a hundred percent. I I think Messi by far. <laughs> so, what's the rest of the year got for you, Tim? You guys are you're you're kind of hanging around the edge of being in a playoff race. You're you lose both of your goalies. Your you know Mandalese comes in and does an amazing job for you. Do you guys do you still have a belief that you can run some wins together? I think you always. I think you always have to believe. Uh, if you if you don't believe, I don't think it's anything is going to really work out. But in the end, I think we we don't really want to put too much pressure on ourselves. We just want to play as many games as we can and play well in those games, play our style of game and show everybody how, how we work and that we're going to be a really good team. And in the end, I think uh, you can't really look every day and see how it goes and do this and this. No. Just got to focus on our game and try to win as many games as we can and play the best hockey we can. Yeah, and that's also tuning up for next year, right? And the excitement of, okay, you made strides this year, next year is going to be better. Yeah, 100%. I mean, you always want to get better year by year. And especially if you're yeah. a young team, you always you always strive to get better every day. And uh, I think that's going to be a big part of our team to just get better every day. Well, I can tell you, Tim, your excitement level is infectious. I mean, not just here, obviously, on the podcast, but as a player, star for the Ottawa Senators and in the NHL, thanks for doing this and uh, all the best the rest of this year and looking forward to next year as well. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah, all the best, Tim. Thanks. Eh? Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.